Oh shit. Terrible B. The shit that happens after the relationship. So, you got some guests here today. Why don't you guys, you know, introduce yourself? My name is Donna Coy. You already know G so sincere. I'm Megan. Everybody got. They got better titles than us. I mean, you know, G. I'm going to say, they call me such a such sincere. I mean, goddamn. I mean, we can make sure right now. Oh, I'm Megan the Fox. Y'all can follow me on Instagram. That is my nickname. That, that really is <laughs> I mean, I got you know, I got a lot of What I mean is this. You need like some AKA, man. Like AKA. So, a whole bunch of aliases? AKA Big Beard Gang. AKA Big Head. AKA Beard Gang. You know what I mean? AKA Big Beard we going to get into this. So, y'all clearly don't know how to act. He breaking up right now, man. This is crazy, man. Get into it. Get into it. Break up. Damn. Break up. 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 I think they're a little bit more mm. harder now than no. back then. To me, it's too hard. No, I, see, yeah, I, I, see, I think it's more difficult know. now. Man. To me, it's more easier. Man, now. what? Yeah. What would she say? Girls is like buses. Miss 115, next one. Oh, hey, excuse me. It's Return of the Snowman. Yeah, I just want you to know. Snow one. What? This came from. This came from her. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, so she can do it. Y'all, you missed that episode, so we're not. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not no, no. We're not, we're not going. We're not going. And it's Tim Gucci. Listen. And that's just on that. Oh, listen. And that's oh, just on that. Oh, okay, we're we going. We're not talking about it. We're going to show you the loop tonight. All right, then. Come on, man. All right. Damn. 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 Damn! Like, my last ex, I didn't have any kids with them. So it's like, 
Okay, I can break up. Yeah. I can block you. I can move on. But why would you block him? That's okay, a, that's but like, possible. Hey, no, you know what? Okay. No, I, I, no, I, no, I, no, no, I get, I get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down. So I get where you're coming from. She's come. She's trying to say. She say, trying to run away. No, she's it trying to say. Say if the breakup. Can't run away. No, no. Let me out. Say if the breakup that she went through was, you know, heart wrenching. You know, stuff that she had to go through, and seeing that person brings up those bad emotions where she's trying to move on from. So if you got kids with that person, and you got to see that bad emotion every day. It, you know, that yeah. some people can't get over that now. If it was a now, if it was on the other foot and you was the reason, then that you got to get over that. That's that's just on that's just on you getting over that and you know being for the kids. But I do get where you're coming from. You said you know. Yes, sir. With every that. time oh, that conversation is this other way, way. Uh, if it's not a bad breakup, it's not a bad breakup. Like, it's just a terrible so. breakup. You know, some people yeah. can't stand to see the person yeah, because I mean, I don't, I don't, it's not love. You know, I was you you don't get over that. So all I'm saying is, I think. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
Like, for instance, I seen this kid, right? Dude was like, he was like, hey, yo, you sure that? And he called him by the name, but not. Nah, dude was walking with his shorty. She's like, hey, da 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 da. How the fuck you know this nigga? Oh, man, don't get mad, man. I fucked with you like five different relationships. She got good credit, though, man. Like, good, man. I'm rooting for y'all. Like, what? Like, let that be the truth. I'm all the people, man. That, that was me. That, 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 that was white. Listen, what I'm trying to say is, that, that, that that if you don't communicate your shit with the person, how can you ever get over it? And the same thing goes with the baby dad. Why if you ain't why communicating, are you communicating and it's a breakup, the topic was break up. So hold on. But well, for you and the baby dad, you gotta hold communicate on. so you can know the boundaries. So you can be like, yo, yo, like my nigga, you you crossing boundaries right now. Remember, we've had this conversation about the boundaries. Like, nigga, I don't like you. I don't want you. You gotta put all of this out there, and you gotta reaffirm that shit. Like, put it to you like this. When y'all was breaking up, right? What you doing to go on the back and the forth and the forth and the back and the back and the forth and the forth and the back? Like, like, all right, fuck you this week or this day, and then back, back, back. You know what? I got, I got a question. I got, I got a question for y'all. I want y'all to, you know, go down the road. Um, what are y'all steps in a breakup? Oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. What are y'all steps? You know what? In a breakup? Because I've been in an on and off relationship. Now, you I don't want to, wait, 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 before you go into it, I want to know, not the steps where you realize it's done, then you break up. I want to know, going into a breakup, the like, thought yeah, process, no, okay, leading listen, into it, listen. and then the steps. Okay, wait, can I tell you how it's after it? You, you know, know how, like, no. Okay, no, I'm saying it like this. I'm saying it like this. The breakups that I've been through have been, like, I wouldn't say random, but it was, like, I don't know, I was, like, breaking up on that particular day. So I don't prepare for a, a, a breakup. But there's because there's a different type of breakup. Okay, there's, yeah. There's okay, so okay, so I have a question. So that's so since so, so you said just say the scenario. Breakup. What happened? No names. It could be in the back, back in the past. But let's, I want to hear the whole story. I want to hear the story. How did it lead Fuck up it. to your? Let's hear the story. How did it lead up to let's your hear the story? Break. Certain things that I wasn't tolerating anymore happened, and I was like, you know like what? what? I'm good. Like toxic shit. What do? It's a lie. That's a, that's a whole it'll, it'll nother episode. Right. Come that's on, a man. whole nother this episode. This is episode. Okay, so I'm asking you, what, in order to break up, what does a person need to do in order for you to be like, okay, I'm breaking up with you? I mean, like, it, what it, would make you different. break up in your relationship? What would make you break up in a relationship? What would make you break up in your relationship? What would make you break up in your relationship? I mean, everybody's different. <laughs> okay, cheating. Would you break up for cheating? Of course. Wait, like, period. First time get caught cheating. Yeah, I mean, but I've been in situations where. No, no, no. It's listen, first time. Listen, 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 are you breaking up? Listen, 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 that particular incident, I don't, I don't know if I really count this relationship because it was before I was 18, but um, this chick cheated on me and we broke up, but then we ended up getting back together probably like maybe like a week or so after the fact. But then, you know, after that, I was just like, yeah, I don't think I should have did that. And then we broke it off again. So it really just depends on the situation and how you're feeling at that time. Because, you know, you might sit there and say a lot of things when you know, you all riled up and all the other stuff, but after you've been able to calm down and think, then you can really, you know, decide on what you want to do going forward. Okay, so what what are the top three things that will make you break up with a person? The top thing is cheating. cheating. Um, um, if you're not max, maximizing energy, like if you're not motivated, working, right, being successful, I see the business. <laughs> like, bitch is bending. <laughs> like, you got to watch my energy. Like, I'm glad you said that because that we, was, that was, one of the, that was a deciding factor for me. We you have to make moves. Yeah. We can't settle for yeah. what we have. We got to want more. And if somebody don't want more for themselves, that's the burden on me. 
Because mm. at the same time, I have been in a relationship where I felt like the person didn't want more and it was a burden on me. And it started reflecting on me and other people started seeing. So once I realized that I need more, I want more, I want to be something, I want to be successful. Like, I feel like if you're successful, you put the motivation and dedication into what you want to do, into your relationship and everything else, then the relationship will work. But if the same person not matching your energy, I feel like it will never work. You're just you're chasing love and it's something that's not really there. You chase it something that's mm -hmm. not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get this man a water. Man, man. Oh, real talk. Dropping the gems. I feel like, see, I'm like, when I'm in a relationship, like, I'm tender. Like, I'm stupid. What do you, what do you mean by like, tender? I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday is on the 16th. I mean, I mean. Uh, <laughs> oh, you were sad. So look. Every so, sad. So look. I feel like when it comes down to relationships, I'm tender. I try to hold, like, if it's not nothing, like, drastic, I'll hold on. Like, cheating, like, it depends. I'm trying to leave, so you keep holding me back. That's my song. That's my song, too. I'm telling you, I need you in my life, baby. Get your ass back. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> but like, oh my god. Everybody don't know that song though. You know, it's uh -uh. Keep more, you know. Make up, hey, yo, ex girlfriend, how you starting that song? Yeah, listen, it's always, it's always, you always want to have some makeup before the final breakup. You see, that's the thing. Breakup, breaking up is a process. It's right. not just, it's sometimes it's. Social like, media makes breaking up harder. Yeah, yeah but that's, 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 that's why I was saying earlier, social media. I'm saying it's more harder yeah. now. To, yeah, because like, because like, social media is a competition. No, because listen, because I, because I, I, I think I'm the type of person, I'm the type of person, like if I'm fresh out of breakup or whatever, you know, you start feeling yourself again, you get on, you take that picture, you like, I'm proud, I'm back. So you fresh out of a relationship, you know he's going to watch, so you throwing thirst traps out there to make him mad. Yo, yo, yeah. And then you know, you feel like, yo, she wasn't looking this good, and I start taking my pictures like, and then it, it's and that's why you gonna get them the paragraph text right. message. Has, has, exactly. Hashtag single. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hashtag is like, complicated. Niggas like, niggas like, it's okay. complicated. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's complicated. Exactly. Niggas start scrolling like, she wants to talk like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like social media. Social media, social media makes it harder because then it's the petty people. Like me back in the day, you know when I was in a relationship, I was good for posting. I'm single. Right, right when we get into an argument or something, I'm yeah, single. Yeah, this is single. Yeah, like, you you like, yeah, like, yeah. It wasn't even broken up. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they had her doing like what? Nigga, what? Yeah. It's hard. To she, look. she in this house. I'm single.
can break somebody up. If you're together with somebody, Definitely. social media right. can anybody in your business. That was our topic the last anybody time. in your business can break up. Social media and and relationships. I feel like when it comes to social media, and you have a girl, you you have a guy. Be respectful, respectful. You po- you post a picture, and we all know we don't have we can't control who like our pictures. Right. What what we put up. Like for guys, we could put up a picture of us in a suit, you know, just trying to be nice, right, like dressing nice, you and, and tuxedo brain. Yeah, right. <laughs> so the girl can say, say, "Oh, oh, right." Yeah, yeah. Listen, so, listen. so girl can say, "All right, like or you're cute." Now your girl gonna go in there like, "Oh, who is this that like your picture and everything?" And you're like. I don't know, it's just somebody I follow. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't know her. Yeah, so I, I feel like that leads up to. That's the that, well, that, that's, that's 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 problem. You get toxic I'm behavior. Not, no, no, you gotta like, check uh, her. Uh, but but see, no, 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 no. Put it to you like this toxic behavior could lead to a breakup. Y'all didn't even ask me what I think. Toxic behavior. He's y'all ain't that shit right here. That shit, he's saying toxic shit. Like, did it? I said, wait, listen, wait, listen. Wait, I tell you one time, I'm gonna tell you one time, like, yo, he that shit out the way. Like, we had a good fucking day, and you just coming out of nowhere. He said, we I took the fucking bro. picture with the fucking place with you. Like, bitch, what the fuck is you getting? What, what, what's the issue? No, but people on social media. <laughs> I said, we had a good one. Well, first of all, people on social media. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this, and then we're gonna not talk about social media, because that was the last episode. So, y'all watched the last episode. Well, that, well, that wasn't the last episode. Okay, it wasn't the last episode. That wasn't the last episode. That wasn't the last episode. Somebody was supposed to be there. But you know Who man. was supposed to be here last episode? I don't know. Man. Oh, okay. Said <laughs> the people who was late today. But okay. Oh, wait, I was late. I was late. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> true. When, when I came in, when I came in, you look at. Yeah, y'all was double. No. I was looking at. Y'all been waiting. Look, me and y'all. But we're not going to talk about that. We're not talking about that. Yeah, we're not talking about that. We're not going to talk about the social media thing, because that's a whole nother issue. That's 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 an issue, though. I can't can't say say that scenario that you you put up, that can be handled in so many ways, but it all depends on the communication you and your communication. True, true. So it can go from, like, if, if your significant other asks you a question, now, you know, some people, you may blow up, right? You know, you like, blow up, you know? But, like I said, it's so many different ways. Now, if you know the girl and she knows the girl, hey, this is such and such, boom. Now, if she don't know the girl and you don't know the girl, just all you have to do is just explain that. A simple argument no, can you just be. No, 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 it's constant. But it depends on what you're doing with it. But if, yeah. if it's constant, yeah, 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 it's, it's not, not one time. time. It's you were saying explain to the counselor home. If that person in their mind thinking that you know, you're so you know, so you know, so you know, every week you're going to do that. That's why I say it all depends on the connection you have, the trust, everything. You know, well, if you don't got, if you don't got trust. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You don't really have a relationship. You don't got, got trust. You got so, do wait. So, do you think that y'all y'all break up and be friends? Huh? Do you think yes. you break up and be friends? Yes. I try yeah. to be friends, yeah. but no. then I start thinking about all the bullshit. Like, if you don't that, to yeah, that's me. Right. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be. Friends. I don't want to be friends. Every, every, friends. Every, every time you end up being friends, I'm saying. Remember I just said earlier that friend that you always come to go back to between your relationships? That's yeah, the idea. Yeah, I'm talking about a break. I'm talking about a relationship. You come relationship. over my house and we drink and we talk about your relationships. You know what? I'm, I'm taking you down. No. Listen, okay, listen so I, feel, I feel what you're saying. Time nigga extraordinaire. I play my role, my part, and everything. Fuck I'm talking about breakup. Can you been here? You've been in a relationship for three years. Love this person, all of it, none of that. You know each other and stuff. Can you? I will say this. I mean, honestly, on my podcast. No, I have to. I have to. Can you? Can you be friends with a person that you was in a relationship with? Yes. Can you be friends? Yes. Can you be friends? I'm with you. What? I'm with shit. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Can you be friends? Yeah. I'm on a dog. No, I think you're friends. I feel like if I'm friends, 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 I feel like if
Towards the end, it got a little rocky. Things was working now. I started seeing stuff. I'm pretty sure she started seeing stuff that she didn't like. Well, what you was doing? <laughs> what, <laughs> what I was doing? Yeah. Uh, me personally, I okay. really, I really wasn't doing nothing at that time. What like time I was giving, I was giving. I felt like I was giving my all. And the person wasn't matching my energy. So, you, like gave, so saying, you gave up. You 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 didn't see. They uh, didn't no, know. He got no, no, no. Smart, man. They, no, no, no. I'm not. See, people think giving up means just giving up. I'm talking about giving up. There's a, like you said, she wasn't matching your energy. So you gave up trying to keep her. That's what you I, gave up trying I, to be in a relationship. Say, giving up. It took, a, it took a while. It took a while for me to actually give up. And I understand what he's saying. Like, it took me a while, and I stood by her side for the longest. But once I had friends come to me and start to say, like, All right, I'm starting to see you're not yourself. You're not yourself how you used to be. Exactly. And, and not to no, put you I off point, a lot of people don't, a lot of people wait till they get to that point. And then they want to call you. Can't mm -hmm. a lot of people wait till they get to that point? A lot of times you can't get to that point because when you lose yourself, sometimes you don't it's get that part back. back. I, I was yeah. you're right. And and everybody at, 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 the, at the same time, in this relationship, mm -hmm. me personally, I felt like I went to my lowest. Okay. You know, I felt like I tried to give this person everything I had. I was doing things that, you know, I shouldn't have did just to make this person happy. And I wasn't worrying about making myself happy at the same time. So it led up to us breaking up. We started fighting more over the little things. And then I started saying, wow, this person, I'm motivated. This person don't seem like she's motivated. Do she got the dedication? 
Like, look where we are. Look at the environment we are living in at the time. What is she trying to do to better herself? What am I going to better myself? What do I want versus what does she want? And after I sat down and I thought about what some of my friends said, and that's why I keep a small circle of friends because I like friends that will be honest with me. And a certain friend, like you said, when I mentioned your names, came to me and said, like, yo, you're not the same. And that, I would say I, I'm thankful for that friend because he opened my eyes at the moment. I didn't, at the time, I didn't know. That you wasn't yourself. I wasn't myself. I because you got lost in. I, I got lost in, I would say love. Like, I thought I loved somebody and I tried to love so mm -hmm. hard, but at the same time, I didn't love myself. I didn't really put myself in a relationship also. I was putting that person above everything. And that person, and the person that, I'm gonna quote this, and the person that you really need to see, and the person really to see it, so, so, I mean, in the long run, today, could I be friends with this person? I would say yes. Only reason because I know how to love myself and I know how and I know how to be a grown up about the situation. Um, I feel like anything that happened in our relationship in the past is the past. Like I said a couple months ago, I seen one of my ex that Stunning. everybody thought I was I, yes, I knew you loved this girl. I thought oh, I no, was going mad. Stun on her. No, I didn't stun on her. Why did you stun on her? Because man. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I didn't stun on her. Because that's what everybody expects. And I don't want to be that type of person to be like, oh, look, look at me I'm now. Why do you say like that? Don't no, be, no, no. Don't no, be no, 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 I'm not saying that. Up, you know? No, no. <laughs> you know, I took a different one. Look. I took a different approach. Uh, she, she, <laughs> but, 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 but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, wait. She be looking all good and, and shit. And, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Cause she gonna be right here like this. Damn, man, you looking real nice with your new shoes. But, mm, but look, you know. but I was more, <laughs> I was being responsible. You know, I was being an adult. And like you said, I'm not gonna stumble because I'm not the type of person to Try to rub me all in somebody's face. Shit. No, no, not that. Not that. No, I, 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 I said. No, no, I, no, I, 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 but if I run into somebody, no, I don't have a problem telling my ex, oh, you looking nice. You look nice, you know. I don't have a problem with that. I I, 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 I want to have a problem with that. I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> Since you went through that, I shoot this with you all that. <laughs> are you what? now more, are, are, are you more now cautious in situations? Are you more like, mm, would you would you find yourself down that same path again, or this time you feel as though you guarded enough? Or like what is like what is you feel like you feel like like am I gonna be a fool? I'm gonna be a sucker again, or am I gonna be like fuck it? I'm a ball, like you know what I mean? Like I I, I know right. signs to look for now, like right check now, it, nip it in the bud type shit. Right now, I said shit. Right now, I can say I would nip it in the bud very early because yeah. I know what what I need. I know what I'm expecting out of a relationship. You know, I need somebody that has, like I said earlier, more basic and dedication. Those are the two most important things to me. Because if somebody's not motivated and they're not dedicated, then I feel like what is the use of a relationship? They got to match. They, they got to match you and they got to. Go somewhere. Okay, no, let me tap in. Let me tap in. Because you keep talking about what you want. We talking about breakups. 
So let's talk about breakups. Let's talk about breakups. So you said he's that. About, he's about, he's about, no, but I'm saying he's talking he, about. Yeah, like he asked. He asked. He asked. So I'm just going to chime in and say, because the que- like the question I had solely asked was, you know, can you be friends with the person who broke mm. up with? I feel like if it's recent and if there's still feelings lingering and stuff, you know. But in. <laughs> <laughs> So the shit not gonna stop. You're not gonna, you're not gonna put the shit on. Yo, that's yeah, definitely well, heavy. My nigga. Hello, Motel. Hello, Motel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a classic. That's a thick ass ringtone. I keep hearing. Yeah, that's a classic. 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 Yeah, who cares if you saw iPhone? Your phone Yeah, my shit mind. clear. All, 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 your, all your shit look like um, my shit clear. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. okay. okay. Anyways, like I was saying, I feel like if the relationship is fresh and if I still have like feelings and if shit is still lingering, um, no, I can't be friends with you until I'm completely over it. But um, if I'm over it, yeah, let's be friends. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, friends, now, you me. can't be friends like you little chill. No, like, 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 like that means you're cordial. Okay, I'm not saying friends. I'm saying I'll be friendly. Yeah, you're cordial. I'll be friendly. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm friendly with my exes. But can you be friends? That's you ask a good question. Cause that would, that would, that would set the way. Like, could you, if friendly, you needed somebody to talk me? to, could you call one of your exes I mean, and say, "Can you go out and chill with me?" Or do something. I can, I'm saying, like, uh, this is yeah, one I can call, call my baby daddies. I only have two. <laughs> You're supposed to. You're supposed to be there forever. You're still 21. I can call one of them. I'm 21. I only got two. I only got two. I only got two. I only got two. 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 If you find, all right. So you, what you telling me is that all these breakups. That's two big daddies and a husband, okay? Husband ain't considered big daddy. That ain't no third big daddy. She fucking right. You hear that, ladies? We ain't catching y'all like buses no more. <laughs> Catch you like the moves, alright? Like, like hey, not wait, all wait, y'all. Wait, wait, so that means about expensive money. Depending wait, wait, wait. on that's a whole different topic. That's a whole different topic, man. Like how frequent it was. Like no, like especially if it's like shit still lingering. Like we still yeah. kind of look because you know I was going through my shit a couple months ago. Like we were still kind of like beefing. Keep fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's all well, well lingering like that. That's what I mean. That, I'm saying like that shit lingering, lasts forever. And, like still toxic shit popping up here and there. Yeah, he called me. He's like, Slap. You like, damn it. Are you fully yeah. over it? You know what, man? I, you fuck this dude, nigga. Let right now, you know, you know what? You know what? You, t- know, t- you know how I can tell when I'm fully over something? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm the type of person, I try to save everything. Like, I have pictures from high school. So, oh, so you save it from college. I have an art. I'm not saving overseas. You know the receipts I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the damn receipts I'm talking about. Hey, 1024. Do you save receipts? See, she about, she about to say she saved it. But like you said, when you get home, what are you still thinking about? Right. You know, because that's just temporary. But right. when you start being by yourself, like I said, you start taking that time to yourself. And then that's when you start to dissect what you, you, what, you, what you know. What I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. As you start a wise, to wise man once said, to get over the hump, sometimes you have to hump. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I'm sorry. That's not I'm a, I just have to tell no. that joke. That's not the way. That's not the way. That's I'm not the way. I just have to tell that joke. I'm sorry. I'm sick of this nigga. <laughs> like, I, I understand what he's saying. But like you said, like, like I'm saying, you take, you, you start, you start understanding yourself more. So you start understanding, you take, you, you start Un- you start understanding yourself more, so you start understanding uh, understanding what you will put up with, what you will tolerate, and what you won't. So once you get a better understanding of yourself, your next relationship, you won't even make it to the heart of the right. because, when, like you said, when you start seeing a consistency of bullshit, it won't be no heart loss to you because you already knew you was done from the consistency of bullshit. That you I was think seeing. another thing people need to do is, you know, after they break up, you know. Like you said, fine time you know, yeah. to yourself. Like, like you know, so also, I, I, also you, try to you know 
realize some of the stuff that you might not have done or some of the bad that you might have bought into. Because some people go into breakups thinking that it was just strictly oh, the other person's person fault. And, it and it's not always the case. Some, yeah. Sometimes certain people's behavior brings out other people's behavior. Mm -hmm. So some people just got to just take And then take you got some people that just to, don't give a fuck. Yeah, to, re <laughs> to reflect and, and try to fix yourself. Because if you don't fix yourself, you will get into another relationship and you'll have the same problems because those same problems are still there. You know what my problem is? And this probably has nothing to do with nothing. But I feel like when I start talking to like another person or what I, when I go to get into a, a, of another relationship, I feel like I didn't talk so bad about the breakup or about the bad with the other person yeah, to the point talk. where if, if if something go wrong in, in, in our relationship, it's like, well, you tolerated this with this person and I'm sitting here doing this and you complaining. And then it's just like, now I feel like I didn't said too much or I didn't told you too much that you won't sit here and throw it in my face because now you feel like my tolerance should be at all time. That, that goes back to working on yourself. Exactly. Yeah, because, you know, and that goes back to you shouldn't be dealing with a person that's going to do the same shit that the last person yeah, did. Right. And then, and then uh, give you a just like, well, that yeah. nigga did it. You going, yeah, that nigga did that. But uh, I did That should tell you right then and there. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you should, should also, you should also not put all the other things on social media. Yes. And, you know, sometimes you, you dig a problem and then it ends up getting dug dug back up. So, this is, you know, Where's the wisdom? I, I would say also if you meet somebody new to, I mean, you don't have to tell them everything that happened in the relationship agree. because mm -hmm. you're giving them too much information, mm -hmm. too much, Bam. You too get, much ammo. You're Boom. giving them too much ammo, so if something happens in your relationship, they, they <laughs> don't <laughs> Hey, yo, this is. <laughs>
They probably can't tolerate that. I did this, yeah, they did that. This, this this let, yeah, yeah. Let, let me, out of that situation, I know this made me feel like this. So I don't want to deal with that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, like oh. this, this person did this to make me feel like I'm not good enough. Or this person did that to make me feel like not myself. So now I know that the next person, I don't want you to make me feel like I'm not myself. I don't want you to make me feel like I'm not good enough. So I feel like to slowly, like, get over a breakup, I do think that you need to take the proper steps of totally, like, getting rid of all, like, stuff that I do with that person. Pictures, messages, all that other stuff. And then I feel like you have to feel that shit. And you you have to to spend some time by yourself. Yeah, you have to feel the pain. Don't fight the pain. Don't run away from the pain. Don't fuck the fame. Don't, don't, don't fuck the, the, that hurt away. Don't fucking party that work, I mean, that hurt away. There wasn't no pain, so there was, there's a difference. She's right. He wants to it wasn't like, no, I'm not going to try to be some type of person. Like, oh, I wasn't hurt. Da, da, da. It was more so I felt more so some type of way than actually being hurt. Because the writing was kind of already on the wall. So I was, was already. Just the so basically, was he said already, he already felt it. I already, in the already saw it coming. So I was already so, mentally preparing myself right. to get out of that relationship. Because right. there's certain situations where you already know it's coming. And you just mentally prepare yourself, or you make a scenario to, that mentally, you know, like in the relationship, be, you know, get too hurt. Because right. I used to do that. Like me, when I used to talk to people, I would always paint a scenario in my head to prepare myself in case that person do some nut shit, so I would not get hurt. I always do that. Oh but shit! Always. It's because okay. I, it's, it's, okay to get, it's okay to get hurt. It is okay it to get is. hurt. Everybody, it's okay to everybody is hurt. It's okay to. It's one of those things. You don't gotta be prepared for the worst. Always be prepared. It's okay to be like, you know what? That's fucked up and that hurt. So I have a question. So they always say that, like, in a breakup, whoever moves on first doesn't wasn't really. um, No, it's not true. That's not true. It it depends because, like I said, depends on how fast it was. And like I said, it depends on your connection with the person. It all depends on who you are were I was, to that person. I was, I was, I was hanging, I was hanging with the nigga that was replacing me. Oh. So. <laughs> okay, so I have, I have another question. So when it comes to a breakup, do you break up with family too? Do you break up with the... I don't have... I don't, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have... I don't have... I don't have... I don't have ill animosity towards somebody else's family. Yeah, that's not... They have nothing to do with it. So, you know I mean? I'm not going to be like, hey, da, da, da. if I made some friends... I'll still be some friends with them, but you know, I'll still be cordial if I see somebody out in the street, whatever the case may be. I'm not like, oh, But I'm not coming over. Good, uh, I'm like, not coming over for dinner. That's just not my kid. Yeah. Oh, like I'm, I'm not doing that whole art, right, come over for family dinner, you know, okay. this Thanksgiving. Yo, why don't you come? I'm going to my okay. family. Yeah, okay. I'm like, you know, thanks for the invite, but I'm going to respect the okay. decline. Because there, there's some people that do that. They, right. you know, they, you know, but some people, they were so deep into the family. That it's you hard go, to oh, like be like, you yeah, know. Yeah, I know, I know a friend of mine that's like that. He was with this girl for six years or whatever the case may be. So he was family dinners, holidays, all that other stuff. So when they broke up, whatever, they it still, they the still want to be, yeah. And his cousins and brother used to play 2K ball and all this other stuff. So, you know, you done built a relationship with that person, that's you know, with the family and stuff. So it's, they felt like you still could be around the family. He yeah. bought his girl, his girlfriend, and <laughs> date you, date somebody else, and they, Everybody's cool being up, so I guess if there's no problem, then why not? Let me tell you something. When you break up, I'm throwing floaties on you. Deep my ass. <laughs> floating out that motherfucker. So, yeah. so, so basically, if you guys don't have that mentality, like when you break up with that person, you break up with their family, you break up with their friends, you break up with their, if they have kids or whatever, like you break up, I, like, you feel like you should keep ties with. I don't think I've ever dated anybody with kids. Oh, wow. I, 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 I don't, think, yeah, I don't think I've ever dated anybody with kids, so I've never, I've never been in that situation where I've had like a kid around that, you know, and you go some type I, of like a or whatever. I have, and it's, yeah. it's hard because, you know, it, it's, it's really hard because... Because um, you build that bond with the kid. Yeah. I'm not sure why you're saying that to me. Not everybody got kids, but... Well, you know. I'm sure that kid. Oh, I'm the only one with kids. Shout out to my babies. Well, I'm saying, when there's, two, <laughs> there's two baby that calling up one thirty. You know, in the date scene, but you're gonna be, you gonna be a stepdad. I'm gonna fuck at the SWAT team outside. You're gonna be a stepdad or a stepmom. This is something that at this age that you wanna have to, you know, accept the realities. There's not too many of us left. No. I still get a shot. You ain't got no kid. No. Yeah. Nope. Right. 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 
it's hard to find somebody. Yeah, like, and, uh, no, but I'm not going to sit here. It's at the point of when y'all going to have some kids. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I'm at the point of when you going to have some kids, yo. Yeah. Uh, I get the kids talk all the time from my mom. She's I just had that with my dad. I just had that with my dad recently. Yeah, you know, hey, so, yeah so, I talked to my dad. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> he said the same thing. You, you have some kids soon? Because he's bored. I got one, but you know. Like, he's bored. I had five kids. Only one of them got one. Right. Like, what you want me to do? You want, you want to take care of him? <laughs> I mean, Jay, he, he, he's offering you a solid, a solid type yeah, of thing. You know, they say that until you want to drop them off. And then, I'm tired. I don't know. I ain't doing hey, this. Well. My mom is a young grandma. She's not like, right now. these I'm young, this, this generation of grandparents is not like the old grandparents. Well, see, my, 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 my parents old, so they... They were right around. They were right around. My parents young grandparent too. Grandparent age. I'm so. going to Cigar yeah. Sunday. My mom has Cigar yeah. Sunday too on some stuff. Like my I mom, can't like my, I can't be like Mom. Watch Watch Kylie and Zoe. I'm about to go to Cigar Sunday. She's like, like nah, I'm, I'm coming too. Yeah. I'm coming too. I'm getting dressed right now. I'm, not, I'm getting dressed, man. You better listen to your dad. All right. Yeah, so my parents are they 60, so it's a little different. Yeah. Plus, yeah. so, you know, they 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 from a different era, so. Yeah. You know, they don't go out like that at all. So that's why it's so. Both of your parents are to church. Yeah, that's what it's so. Ain't no party in this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Damn, I can't even talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, been, it's been at least over an hour. Yeah. It's probably about, Shit, it's about like an hour and a half. Yeah, probably. Two. I don't think it's too much. 145. You're going to say it, bro. Let's place it back. I got 125. I got 120. I got one. Twelve. One fifteen. Yeah, okay, let me keep it. Let me keep it. He, he, uh, he prices price right back right. You <laughs> 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 the last one? One fifteen. <laughs> Alright, let's so, see how much it was. Y'all already know what to do. Like, comment, or share, subscribe. When you subscribe, you know, turn on the notification so when we drop the videos, I'll be the first to know. I want to thank our guest, uh, Clay, Megan, uh, my other boy G Rod, he had to go back to work, but I appreciate him. <laughs> I appreciate him coming up, even coming here. You know, the, yeah, yeah, to you know, that, that's top love, right? That, that dedication. Yeah. Shout out to him. So, yeah. um, so I guess we we'll catch y'all next time. I guess this is Jay. This is Jay. Let Logic. Cool. Peace. Yeah, him too. Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, see. You probably all gonna be wrong. <laughs> what is it? It is one thirty. I was the cool. Oh my god. Ah! I was